We're early, obviously, nobody else is coming. <laughs> well, where are you going to sit, Kate? I'll come down this way. Ladies That's first. Oh, thank you very much. So the very first year you were here was 1947. 47, yep. Gosh. It's one of the early concerts on the first program was Marla's Song of the Earth. But you were only a young boy at that point. It would have been quite a program. Oh, it was exciting. It was quite exciting. And you'd come up from Dumfriesshire, is that right? From a little village called Beeswing, uh, which is halfway between Dumfries and Dalbeatty. And what led your mother to bring you to Edinburgh in 1947? Oh, because my father had died and she wanted to cheer herself and myself up. So that began a life of coming to the festival. I believe you've only missed two in the entire history th of the festival. Is that I right? think I can truthfully say the ones I was in the army for, obviously I did, but the others I was here for. And that was national service? National right? service, yes. Right. And I believe you have a personal connection to the podiums that have been used here in the past. I saw a conductor conducting God knows what and he stamped his foot to emphasise something and a cloud of dust came up and I thought, that's not very good. I rang up the then manageress and I said, please may I be allowed to restore the, the one that was used because, of course, you've got several. Right. And because you had a, furni a furnishing company at the time. Yes, because so I knew the right people to get to, right. you know, who, to, who would polish it. Yes. Uh, who would put a new piece of red carpet on. Mm -hmm and uh, who would restore the brass. They even offered to put something in the programme. I said, no, <laughs> no. Well, and, you and, sit, and you sit high up in the... Oh, the uh, uh, there's a row of seats which seem to have little sort of white things on them. One, yes. two, three, four. Okay. I'm about the third up. Why do you sit in the gods? Money, madam, money. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that the sound is good up there as well, isn't well, it? Well, the sound is such as good, yes. Was it Sir Adrian Bolt who said, I believe that you heard better in the gods in the Usher Hall than down to I don't know, that's go. maybe just a myth. Go. So how many times do you think you've sat in this seat up here? Oh, okay. Well, I, th I think I've tended to try and book this ticket regularly for about the last five years. Now we've brought along some programmes from, from years gone by. Wow. So I don't know, you'll probably recognise some of these. Look at this yes. one. That's from 1947, from the very first year oh. of the festival and from the first year that you attended. Ah, here's the concert that you went to. Look, there's Paul Paré. Yes, yes. Am I right in saying you go to about 20 every year? Um, the number. festival, well, I tend to use a mixture of, oh, that sounds interesting, I haven't heard that before. And then, oh, I haven't heard that for a long time, I'd like to hear that again. Mm -hmm. I think my, my interests are reasonably broad. The, the festival has grown so much. Obviously, it's a more cosmopolitan audience. I don't suppose it was very cosmopolitan in 1947, but there wouldn't be many visitors from Europe, which was still busy picking itself up off the ground after World War II. I do remember you telling another wonderful story of, of, of when, you were, when you were young and watching a conductor. This was, this was the first Edinburgh Festival, uh, and the conductor was Paul Parry, the Cologne Orchestra, I don't know if it exists now, uh, of Paris. And he must have been offered a choice of podium, conductor's podium. And he had a big black box, which I reckon must have been about as long as from that line there to about that line there. Right, and about here, it was a, like a huge packing case, painted black, upon which he didn't merely conduct, he performed. And of course, this was nobody had ever seen anything like that because they were used to people like, well, say Sir Adrian Bolt, who would stand stock still, <laughs> you know, and just didn't move. And this yeah. chap ran up and down this sensational, and the audience loved it. <laughs> my mother, having grown up and older during two world wars, she never, my mother never went abroad in her entire life, so she realised this was something very exciting for her and for me, you know. But it's a wonderful hall. It is. And I mean, I think it's wonderful today, but think how much more wonderful it must have looked in 1913. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Usher. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. I shall never think of this platform quite the same, having actually, <laughs> having actually stood on it. It's fun, isn't it?